gasoline. Liquid power to run millions of automobiles everywhere. Yet, how many know what happens to the gas after it is poured into the gas tanks? Or realize the care that motor car engineers have taken to give each drop an equal chance to do its duty? Gasoline is powerful, but each drop can give a 100% account of himself only when he finds the most efficiently designed gasoline system to help him along his journey. For a successful life, every drop of gasoline depends entirely upon what happens to him after he gets in the swim. Ah, oh, a nice one. Let's go after that drop of gasoline. So this is what the inside of the gas tank looks like. We'll have to dive too. Here goes. No, this isn't the water main. It's the gas line from the tank to the engine. It's a good thing it's cool in this gas line. If it ever got warm, the gasoline would form vapor and the pressure would hold the gas back in the tank. But we won't get stuck because this pipe is on the right side of the car while the hot exhaust is far over on the other side. This is the gasoline pump that's been pulling the gasoline along all this time. Well, here we are in the little glass bowl below the gasoline pump. It's made out of glass, so the owner can easily see any sediment collecting on the bottom and have it removed whenever necessary. We can't stop long here. Guess the only place we can get out is through that screen up there. And is that going to be tough? The holes are certainly small. 14,000 of these tiny holes to the square inch keep dirt from reaching the carburetor. Even water can't get through this screen. Whoa, he seems to be stuck. Must be a bit of dirt clinging to him. But as soon as it comes off, he'll get through all right. There, he made it. The pump is a trusty friend of the gasoline. Always supplies just the right amount. Whenever the car is going uphill or makes a sudden burst of speed, the pump automatically works harder. But we've got to keep moving on to the carburetor. just came through the needle valve that lets the gasoline into the carburetor. That is the float on top of the gasoline. It controls the needle valve, keeping just the right amount of gas here in the bowl of the carburetor. Hey, there goes our drop again. He's going down through the metering jet at the bottom, but he's still in the carburetor. How's that for wind? It roars through the carburetor, sometimes at a speed as high as 800 miles an hour to vaporize the gasoline. That funnel above and the other one below are called Venturi tubes. They control the speed and direction of this hurricane of air. Three 
tubes in this carburetor keep raw gasoline from getting into the engine. An important reason why the six cylinders of this engine run on a very small amount of gasoline. But look, there's our drop over there again. Say, he's getting bigger. He's being mixed with air. He'll grow up to be about 17 times his original size, so he can do his best when he gets into the cylinder. Right down to the manifold that distributes the gasoline to the cylinder. Ouch! We're standing on the hot spot. All the drops mixed with enough air are floating right on past. The others stop here to be vaporized. This manifold heater cuts down waste and lets each drop of gasoline do its best. Here we go down the manifold. Gasoline is whirled through the manifold to keep the mixture uniform, speeded up in one place and slowed down in another. So the same amount of gas gets into each one of the cylinders. These are the valves that control the gas going into the cylinders. These big intake valves certainly make it easy for gas to get into the cylinder. No crowding, no pushing, no waste. Important for gasoline economy. There's the spark plug up there, just in the right place to burn all this gasoline. And here comes that great big piston. There's the exhaust valve opening up, and here comes the piston again. Lucky they made the exhaust valve large, too, so we can get out in a hurry. There goes the ghost of our drop of gasoline. Thanks to the engineers, he's given a perfect account of himself. He has led a more fortunate life than lots of other drops. Of course, every drop must go from the tank to the exhaust. But they don't all have the economy adventures met by every drop of gas which goes down this gasoline trail. <laughs>